Welcome to the DES2 Unit 15 Lecture on Welding Drawings by Todd Frazee. Welding Drawings There are detailed multi-view assembly drawings of all the parts of a weldment assembly. It incorporates American Welding Society symbology to define the joining of the parts through the welding processes. Welding is the process of fastening material together by bringing adjacent surfaces to a molten state. There are several categories of welding processes. The first is gas welding that uses a mixture of oxygen and flammable gas to fuse adjacent surfaces with a filler material. There's arc welding, uses an electric arc to fuse adjacent surfaces with a filler material. And there's resistance welding, it uses heat and pressure to fuse adjacent surfaces without a filler material. Well joint types. There are five general types. The first is the butt joint, which the two pieces are butted up against each other. There's a lap joint where the material is overlapping each other. There's a T where the material is running it perpendicular to each other. And there's a corner, which the two pieces come to a corner. And there's edge where flanges are bent and the weld is um, performed on the edge of the flange. ANSI has worked with AWS for the weld symbology. In the most basic form of a weld welding symbol consists of a reference line and an arrow with a leader. The basic symbol for location and depth, like in this example, has a groove weld size and a depth of the bevel is denoted on the reference line. Finish symbols may occur, including a contour symbol. And the weld type symbol will occur on the reference line. The symbology uses a system where the information on one side of the line refers to the side that the arrow is pointing at, and the opposite side of the reference line refers to the opposite side of the material that the arrow is pointed to. Dimensions may also occur of the length of weld and the pitch or center to center spacing. And there's a whole host of supplementary symbols, such as the field weld symbol, the weld all around symbol, and number of spots or seams. Groove angle and root openings can also be defined. Don't, all this information isn't absolutely necessary, and can be if it's omitted, it's left up to the interpretation of the welder. And the last is a tail and specifications, which is often omitted. And that would denote a specific process needs to be used for the weld and um, references to specific specifications, if defined by the weld symbol. Weld symbol side variations. So a weld symbol below the reference line indicates the weld will be on the same side as the, of the arrow. For example, on the right, this particular weld symbol is calling for a fillet weld to be on the same side that the arrow is pointing to. The weld symbol above the referen li reference line indicates the weld is on the opposite side of the arrow. And if the symbol occurs on both sides of the reference line, it indicates the weld is going to occur on both sides of the referenced edge.
Weld symbol junction variations. A circle at the leader line junction indicates that welding is performed all the way around an indicated edge. So a full loop chain. And a flag at the leader line junction indicates that welding occurs in the field or at the point of assembly on site and not in a factory setting. Weld symbol condition variations. Where 100% weld penetration is required, a melt through symbol occurs. And when reinforced backing is to be used, the symbol, another symbol is used. So on the right, the full penetration symbol is a half moon shape that's filled in, and the reinforcing backing symbol is a rectangle. Weld symbol contour variations. Contour symbols indicate the weld is to be finished to a contour that is either flush, convex, or concave. And they occur as the symbols on the right. The contour symbols can be accompanied by a letter code for, to define a finishing process. G for grinding, C for chipping, M for machining, R for rolling, and H for hammering. If the process is not defined, it's left up to the interpretation of the welder on how to produce the finish required. Weld symbol preparation variation. If a weld joint is prepared for the welder with machining, the leader line will be bent, as shown on the right, the leader line indicates that a bevel will be machined on the edge that's referenced by the arrow. Fillet weld type or weld types. Fillet welds is a common weld type. And filler material fills in an internal corner of two parts, as shown on the right. It also is indicated by a triangle and size. The letter S, dimension, occurs next to the symbol. If the fillet is not symmetrical, the vertical size is listed first, followed by a horizontal size. The examples on the right, the first one shows that there is a fillet weld in the corner on the same side as the arrow, with the size of S. The second shows that there is a fillet weld on both sides of the material edge referenced with a dimension size of S. Groove welds. They're grouped together by their characteristic and appearance. The size or depth of the weld is defined by D. The angle of the groove is defined by A. And any spacing between the plates to be welded is defined by the letter R. Square groove welds. Butt square groove welds is where the material is butted together prior to welding. It's denoted by the welding symbol with two vertical hash lines. As shown, it's a full penetration weld being welded from both sides of the plate. An open square groove needs definition of the root width of how wide the plates are apart before welding starts. The material space spaced at a distance is called the root opening defined by R. In the example on the right, the plates are spaced a distance of R and the weld uh, penetrates through the material from the near side of the part, same side of the arrow. An open square, both sides welding, is performed to a specific depth from both sides of the seam. In the example on the right, 
The two plates are spaced by the distance of R, and the welding depth is defined by the letter D. Welding has to be performed on both sides of the plate, and does, they do not meet because it's not full penetration. V-groove welds. A V-groove weld is where the material is beveled equally on both halves to form a V-shape on one side of the seam. As shown on the right, there's a bevel defined by A with a distance root of R. Welding from the same side as the arrow is pointing at the part. The second example is a V-groove on both sides, both sides. The material is beveled equally on both halves to form a V from both sides of the seam. Welding is performed also from both sides of the seam. As shown on the right, the symbol has the V symbol and A and R are defined on both sides of the welding reference line. Bevel groove welds. Bevel groove welds are similar to a V groove, but one piece is beveled on one side and the other piece is left square to form a recess from one side of the seam. As shown on the right, we have a bevel on the right hand piece defined by uh, an angle defined by A with a spacing between the plates defined by R. A bevel groove example from both sides, one piece is beveled on both sides of the plate with the other piece left square to form a recess on both sides of the seam and welding is performed from both sides of the part. As denoted by the symbology on both sides of the reference line. U-groove welds. U-groove uh, in a U-groove, both pieces are prepped to form a U-shaped recess in the weld. On the right, we have a full penetration single U weld on top, and the welding is all performed by the same side as the arrow on the weld symbol. On the second example, we have a U-shaped weld that's being performed from the opposite side of the arrow opposite side of the material that the arrow is pointing at, at a defined depth that doesn't come fully through the part and defining a gap of R. J-groove weld. A J-groove weld is similar to a U-shape weld, but one piece is prepped with a concave shape and the other is left square to form a J-shape recess for the weld on one side. An example of a J-groove on both sides, one piece is prepped with a concave shape on both sides and the other is left square, forming a J-shape recess for the weld on both sides of the part. Plug or slot welds. Plug, plug welds are um, used on overlapping pieces with a hole in one of the pieces. The hole is filled with a weld joining the pieces together. The hole diameter is defined by a symbol. A slot is very similar and likewise joins overlapping pieces with a slot in one and the slot is filled with weld the weld joining the pieces together. The slot width is defined by the weld symbol. Here's an example of a plug type weld symbol defining a diameter and an angle of the hole and location of the weld. Spot welds. Spot welds are generally used for sheet metal and represented as a circle. 
The diameter and the center to center distance or pitch between the welds is denoted on the symbol. In the example on the right, we have a resistance weld, spot weld, that has a strength of the weld called out as a shear strength of 700 with a pitch of welds of every three increments. The second example on the right is an electron beam weld that penetrates from both sides of the material and it's calling out a specific number of welds equally spaced in the material. Seam welds. Seam welds are made between overlapping parts and the length and pitch of the seam are defined by the symbol. Seam welds are made between overlapping parts and is denoted by a circle with lines through it. The first figure in the symbol defines the length and the second defines the pitch distance. Surface welds. Surface welds are the buildup of surface texture by welding beads on the surface. In the case of a surface weld, the welding symbol will point at an entire surface and denote a size and shape of the bead. Weld length and increments. The length is a num number devote, denoted by the, to the right of the weld symbol. In the example on the right, on one side of the part, we have a fillet weld of 125 millimeters happening on the opposite side that the arrow is pointing on and a 75 millimeter long fillet weld on the same side of the arrow. The increments are denoted by a number following the length, other known as a pitch. So in the second example on the right, we have equally spaced fillet welds on both sides of the reference line that are 60 millimeters long and occur at a pitch of 124 inch spacing. For a full chart and more information on all the approved American Welding Society welding symbols, refer to pages 1203 and 2001. 1204 in your textbook, Technical Graphics Communication by Berta Lyon et al. This ends this lecture and thank you and we'll catch you on the next one.